If Houston and Harris County is to survive, we had better throw those bums out of office. They are not doing their job that we have called them to. Today, Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner responding to that sermon by well-known Houston pastor, Dr. Ed Young. Some Houston say the pastor crossed the line politically, but Mayor Turner says he needs to get his facts straight. Janelle Bluto joining us live from uh, the studio now with more on what was said today, Janelle. Well, and Dr. Ed Young called Houston the most dangerous city in the country. That, Mayor Turner says, is factually not true. Houston, in all probability, right now is the most dangerous city in America to live in. It's the Sunday sermon. You see any difference when you put left wing progressives in office? That has Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. Factually, what he said was wrong. Fired up. Why are you saying something that's not true? What, what, are you trying to gain a political advantage? And not in a good way. I was just disappointed when a faith-based leader from the pulpit talks about we're not doing our jobs and then call people bombs. What Mayor Turner is referring to is a sermon by Dr. Ed Young this weekend, pastor at Houston's Second Baptist Church. If Houston and Harris County is to survive, we had better throw those bums out of office. They are not doing their job. The sermon calling out Houston leaders and crime. The murder rate in Houston, Texas is greater than the city of Chicago and certainly New York. When you look at the murders per capita, Houston is not even in the top 10. Turner believes Dr. Young crossed the line politically, something a church is not supposed to do under IRS tax laws. If you want to be a politician and, and be carrying some people's political agenda, then you enter the political arena. Turner says he reached out to Dr. Young but was unsuccessful. He has this message for the pastor. When he says throw the bombs out, I am grateful that I know Jesus for myself and that through his grace, I am still in the arena. We have reached out to Second Baptist and Dr. Young's team today. They are declining to comment. Lynn. All right, another follow-up to that story. Janelle, thank you.